Valley Fresh Fair, featuring local restaurants, their owners, chefs, and great recipes made with Yakima Valley grown ingredients. Now here is hostess, Gayla Games. Hello, Valley Fresh Fair viewers. We're here today with Taylor Cole from the Yellow Church Cafe in Ellensburg. You did a little traveling to come to see us today. Yes, I did. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Nice to be here. And what are you going to be preparing for us today? Um, first off, I'm going to be preparing Dungeness Crab Stuffed Mushrooms. It's a baked appetizer. Um, Sounds excellent. Yeah. And mushrooms are so good for you. They certainly are. And then? Next, we're going to be preparing a Columbia River Steelhead prepared on a cedar plank with a cranberry relish. Oh, that sounds excellent. So we're going to start with the appetizer? Yes. All right, go ahead. Um, I'm first off, we're going to finely chop some parsley, approximately half a cup. And you have the Italian parsley? This is Italian parsley, yes. Wonderful. The chops for this don't need to be super precise, because mm -hmm. it's just going on as a garnish. OK. Just do that. A few nice rough chops. Okay. And then next, we're going to take these white, regular white mushrooms. We're just going to kind of twist the stem out of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it likes to stick in a little bit, so you might have to dig it out a little. Just get those out of there. And these are the white button yes, these mushrooms? Yes, just your ordinary button mushrooms mm -hmm. you can find at any grocery store. And other mushroom choices we might be able to use with this? Um, cremini mushrooms would probably be really uh -huh. good. They're uh, very similar to white mushrooms. They're, Perfect. They're a little softer and more brown. Okay. Um, next, we're going to take our mixing bowl and we're going to add our crab, approximately half a pound. Okay. Our aioli, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of that. Would you mind handing me that spatula? Hello, spatula, there? absolutely. And what is aioli? Aioli is a mixture of salt, olive, olive oil, egg yolk, and basically that, that's the basic aioli and okay. then you can vary it with different flavors such as roasted garlic and things like that to make Perfect. flavored aiolis. And that recipe will be included in our... Certainly. Uh, absolutely, Certainly. yes. You did send that to me um, and we will have that available that for our right viewers. There, please? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to add in our green onions, and that is approximately half a cup as well. Perfect. And we're going to add in a little bit of Parmesan now. Be sure to save some to garnish with at the mm -hmm. end. Approximately two tablespoons of Parmesan okay. there. Okay. We're just going to kind of give that nice, start mixing it a little bit. Add in one half lemon juice. The juice from one half of a lemon, okay. excuse me. I, I got you. Made sense. <laughs> gotcha. Just had to make sure. There you go. And then we're going to salt and pepper to taste. Some people like a lower sodium content than others, so it's, it's going to... Good to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. Going to want to go a little lighter on the black pepper. Mm -hmm. And just give that a nice little mix. It's a lovely simple. Very simple. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is kind of just a throw it together dish yeah. that comes out quite elegant still. Definitely. Nice holiday dish. Yeah. And then we're going to take our capped mushrooms mm -hmm. and go take a small measuring spoon will work. Just going to take a nice scoop of that, lay it right in there in those stuffed mushrooms. And then uh -oh. Should pre give a little drizzle okay. of olive oil Perfect. on our baking sheet here. I'm going to grab a little paper towel here and we can get that spread on there. I'm going to go right behind you to do that, Taylor. That is just fine. Okay. Just do a little dab so we're nice. And okay. We want to smear the olive oil around a little Absolutely. bit to get a nice coat. There you go. I'm just going to. Set those right on there. And hope Sit they stand up right. And stay. Wonderful. What's our temperature we're going to put these mushrooms we're in? We're going the to oven? be baking these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Very good. And that's going to be for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, that doesn't take long at Not all. Not too long at all. 
Got it. Okay, Taylor. I'm ready for the next course if you are. I am certainly ready. Perfect. Next, we are going to be moving into our cranberry relish. Oh, yum. To go with our steelhead. We're going to take approximately two cups of red wine. Mm -hmm. I prefer a Cabernet myself. And why is that? Um, it's just kind of lighter. I feel like the berries work with it better. Uh -huh. um, okay. And we're going to turn that on a medium heat, medium high heat. It's not We've got a quite lit. There we go. There we go. All right. And we're going to add one cup of sugar in with that. Okay. A little stir. Get that sugar blended in. Absolutely. We're going to start letting that reduce okay. a little bit until it starts getting really thick. We're just going to kind of let that go for a kind while. Kind of a syrupy thickness there. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So, so next we are going to, actually, I believe our mushrooms should be just about done. Fabulous. Let's check those. Let's do that. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, look at Ooh, that. Oh, they're beautiful, oh. aren't they? They certainly look they good. They look delicious. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys plated. Yeah, I think the guests are waiting, aren't they, for their oh, yeah. starting of the Christmas appetizers. Be very gentle with these. They can be delicate. Mm -hmm. The good thing about these is they come out looking quite nice already. Yeah, beautiful. Just a lovely little touch of brown on them. Mm -hmm. And they smell yeah. so good, making they me smell hungry. Wonderful. Going to have to be mathematical here, don't you? <laughs> From time to time. There we go. Nice. Nice, All nice. All right, now I'm going to take our leftover Parmesan here. Give a nice little sprinkle over the whole thing, just as a garnish. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take our balsamic now. Just give a nice little drizzle. Oh, that's very, very. I'm a fan of the crosshatch, yeah. which is just going adjacent back the other way. That's nice. That's a lovely presentation. And then take some of our parsley. Just give a nice little sprinkle over that. You can even do it a little around the rim. Mm -hmm. A little extra added flair. Just that simple, and it just is an elegant dish. Mm -hmm. It looks. It certainly is. It looks not only it looks good, but I'm sure it's going to it's taste quick, as good too. It's quick. It's easy, and it is delicious. Can't wait. Perfect. Me either. Okay. It is better to have everything you need readily at hand. We're going to just get this here on our cedar plank. And I'm just going to add a touch of salt, just a nice even sprinkle over it. Okay. And then an even lighter touch of pepper. Just a little bit to bring that flavor out. And then we are going to take it and our still 400 degree oven and just place it right on the bottom rack. Perfect. Now I had asked you earlier about did you soak the cedar plank? Some, it kind of depends on the oven and the thickness of the uh -huh. cedar plank. With these ones, a nice thin flat piece like that, I have never found Not it necessary, necessary uh -huh. to soak it. It comes out with Fine. same cedar flavor and Great. doesn't okay. Catch fire in the oven. <laughs> that, that, that's the, that's I think the key. That was my concern. Yeah. <laughs> now our reduction's coming to a nice. boil. That's good. We're just going to let that keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we are going to prepare our potatoes, mm -hmm. which have already been boiled, Beautifully and boiled. drained, and are ready to be mashed. Wonderful. So we are going to take three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Add that in there. We're going to take approximately half a pound of just regular cream cheese. Get that all in there. And these are going to be our garlic chive cream cheese mashed potatoes, by oh, the way. Oh, there you go. We're going to take our salt. And it's, uh, it's pretty much, once again, salt to taste. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to definitely need a sufficient amount just to bring out all the flavor exactly. of everything in this. Are you using a kosher salt? I am using salt? a kosher salt, yes. Um, I prefer 
with these sort of mm -hmm. home style dishes to use a kosher salt. And then some black pepper. And I'm just gonna take some of our chives real quick. Once we get them open. That you grew in your garden. Yes. Look I'm at that. Packaged those. all by yes. myself. You are quite a talented young man, I must say. I try. <laughs> and we're just gonna give those a nice thin chop. Chives and potatoes are just excellent flavor. Oh yes. Notice how his fingers are out of the way, viewers. Knuckles. Always uh -huh. use the knuckles. Always scoot that finger back. And we're going to take those. So you have about a quarter cup there? Did well, you yes, over? about a quarter to a third of a mm -hmm. cup, yeah. Depending on how much of an onion each chive fan mm -hmm. you are, you might want to add a little more, a little less. It's quite variable, which is nice. There you go. And then we're going to add our garlic, about a Ooh, yeah. four, three to four tablespoons. And then I'm going to find my potato masher. Yes. And now okay. we're just going to take our potato masher and just mash the heck out of these potatoes. Perfect. Smash them and mash them and tear them apart. You, you know, long ago, the potatoes, yes, they were supposed to be just really, really mashed and have that smooth, smooth texture. Mm -hmm. I remember it was a disappointment, you know, if there was a lump in the potato. Yep. But now... And I see where you're going with that, and I agree. I actually like to leave some nice, soft lumps. The lump in the potatoes, yep. yes, definitely. Just a little mm -hmm. something extra. Make sure we scrape all those... Goodies. Lumps and goodies off the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're all mixed in. It's starting to smell real nice. Yes. So and we want those back. Those are all ready and good to go. So we're okay. gonna put our just set that on the stove here and put our lid all back right. on to keep them warm. Sounds good. And now we're reducing. Our we're letting this reduce. Mm -hmm. We have our blanching water going for our asparagus, which is almost to a boil. Mm -hmm. um, Add a little salt to that to Let's help bring out that. the flavor of that asparagus. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to blanch our asparagus. Very so nice. We're going to take however much we need depending on okay. our number of guests. We're going to take the ends and we should cut those right off. All these, all these white parts here, mm -hmm. Yes. don't want any of that. <laughs> no, we so don't. So we are going set those right in our boiling water okay and let those just sit there for one to two minutes won't take and long we're not cooking the asparagus at all right now blanching is just literally to bring out the color of it okay. make it a nice bright green okay. to be presentable perfect well we had a chance earlier to take a trip to Ellensburg and visit the yellow church cafe let's take a look at that now all right Joining me now is the owner of the Yellow Church Cafe, Gordon Wallen. Well, it's nice to have you here. Thank you for having us, sir. You bet. I feel very blessed being here. Well, it's it's a uh, it's a church, so yes. it's a good place to feel blessed. And how long have you had the restaurant? Uh, we've been here uh, going on 16 years. Mm -hmm. And I do hear that you and your wife were pastors' kids, correct? Well, we we still are, although well, yes, both, you would of be our, you both of our both of our fathers have passed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, we definitely were both raised as preachers' kids. So uh huh, yep. that's nice. And we're so happy to be visiting you in December. We kind of thought it was pretty appropriate to oh, be doing well, the it's Yellow a Church Cafe. Festive time of the year, yeah. time to celebrate, certainly. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything special the month of December? Do you do a lot of catering? Or? You know, we have parties and that kind of a, you know, people uh, rent space out for mm -hmm. their business parties and we do cater some events and mm -hmm. uh, probably special for me will be leaving here to go <laughs> be with my wife at the beach. Ah, and, uh, and, she's waiting for uh, you. Yeah, enjoy nice. Christmas Good at the beach. Good for you. So, oh, what yes. a perfect place to spend it. Yeah, Great. Should be and fun. nice to have a team that works here and is supportive and able to do 
what they need to do. We have a fabulous team That's and they, super. they do a great job. Well, yeah. we so enjoyed Taylor cooking with him. So remind me again about your hours um, of the we, restaurant. We are open uh, Monday through Friday from 11 until through dinner. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday and Sunday we open at 8 a.m. and again go through dinner. So okay. seven days a week. Very good. And uh, your little shop, you have a wine shop we also. We do. We've got a great wine that. shop which is just up the street up on 4th Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's called Ellensburg Wine Works. Mm -hmm. And uh, my nephew and his wife run that. And uh, it's open Tuesday through Saturday. We do a lot of wine tasting up there and do a lot of events up there as well. And and it's a it's a full wine bar, so you can go in and get some nice. bites to eat. And now you do serve wine here. Oh, absolutely. Wine and, wine and beer. Absolutely, we have a very extensive wine closet. And are people allowed to bring wines into your sure. restaurant also? Oh yeah, absolutely. Very we have good. a ten dollar corporate fee. So. Okay, perfect. That's a good yeah. thing to know. Anything else I'm forgetting that you would like our viewers to be aware of? Uh, Tuesday when night is a night that we waive the corkage fee, uh -huh. and we also. Uh, yeah get ten dollars off on bottles so it's a good night to come I if you're say. making a trip up from Yakima come I will on up be. on a Tuesday night it's not always so busy and enjoy yourselves we'd okay. love to have you um, yeah we just uh, been doing it a long time and uh, really grateful for all the great staff we've had over the years good. and that's always a blessing it is Definitely. it is it uh, I'm getting old and <laughs> kind of wind, wind, winding oh, down you here poor a little guy. Bit. Well. yeah stop it you're a lot younger than me well I really appreciate you coming uh, um, and letting Taylor come and cook with us absolutely and well, also coming into your beautiful restaurant well thank you thank you for and coming and and uh, being a part of what we are and, and doing what you've done to, to let people know thank who we you are. we appreciate it Oh, our asparagus is blanched for one to two minutes. Okay. We're going to set it right here in our ice bath. Just nice, fresh ice water to cool it off so it doesn't cook through. We're just going to let that sit in there and cool off. There you go. All right. I'm getting hungry. Oh, me too. And What's good thing left? We're almost there. Well, Perfect. our uh, reduction is getting nice and thick. So yes. we're going to go ahead and turn that down to a low simmer. Okay. We're going to add in our cranberries, about three quarters of a cup. And we're going to add in our sweet onion, mm -hmm. about uh, about half a cup or so. Okay. And we're going to add in about three quarters of a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder, which is just oh, a yeah. blend of five different spices uh -huh. that you can find at almost any grocery store. I like to add in a little mm -hmm. squeeze of lemon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little oh. flavor there. The viewers should smell that, those spices. Well, hopefully they will soon. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm just going to mix very that up nice all nice. Very nice for the holidays. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, very, very holiday. It is. Color oriented. Oof, yeah. And we're going to let this keep reducing uh -huh. a little bit. Keep reducing a little more until these onions start to become red and translucent. They'll okay. get a nice vibrant red color okay. to them. Um, that, very good. That reduction will just soak right into them. And we're going to let that keep going for couple more minutes till it thickens up the rest of the way. Nice. Well, while we're kind of waiting for that, as I know our viewers keep looking at this oh, lovely, yes. lovely. Tell us about this that. This is our Yellow Church Heavenly Loaf. Mm -hmm. It's, picture a cinnamon roll, but <laughs> instead of cinnamon and sugar, it's rolled up with cheese and it's got garlic and herbs and another cheese blend mm -hmm. to go over the top when it's baked. So it comes out like a giant cheesy garlic cinnamon roll. The, this and is, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, sorry. Uh, a lot of um, my viewers, when I said we were going to welcome you mm -hmm. on the show, this was the big the big mention, yes. Oh yeah, uh, that's that's definitely our signature bread at the is, Yellow it Church. It is known we, far and wide, yeah. We actually have people come from all over the state just because they hear of the Heavenly Loaf are, <laughs> and are extremely intrigued to try it. The Heavenly Loaf, love the name too. Oh yeah. It's great. Yes. Yeah, I can't wait till our dietician gets on to talk about this oh, Heavenly Loaf. Oh, I'd loaf. rather it's, not be here for that. It's good for us, <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> the onions are starting to look They are starting nice. to take yeah. on a nice red color. Uh -huh. um, got a little more reducing to do there. So now we are about ready to start plating. Wonderful. I think the relish is almost done. Yeah, it's just about there. I'm going to check your salmon for you. Please okay. do so. I grab a nice looks. serving spoon for these mashed potatoes. 
put that right in there. Oh yeah, take the salmon looks beautiful. Oh yes. Are you happy with that? I am very happy All right, with that. I'm gonna slide that right here that for you. That's just perfect. Okay. One indicator, if you're not really sure how to tell the temperature mm -hmm. of the steelhead and you don't have a meat thermometer on you, is the whiteness inside will really start that's to come out. out when it cooks through all the okay. way. Okay. And if if you have no other option, that's a that's a good way to tell when that's just perfect is when okay. that white stuff will just start to come out. Very And our nice. relish looks just about perfect now. So we're going to take our garlic chive mash, take a nice good scoop of that. I'm gonna put that right in the middle here. Okay. Try to keep it nice and stacked up. And we're going. Just a small portion. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> after uh, your asparagus has been blanched, you uh -huh. can, like I said, you can grill it or saute it um, in salt and pepper and maybe a little garlic and shallot mm -hmm. if you like. Um, whatever flavors catch your fancy. We're gonna put some of this asparagus on here. I like to do a little. A little cross pattern. Very nice, yeah. And then we are going, would you like to grab me a spatula real quick, please? Absolutely. There you are, sir. Thank you very a much. festive red one for the holidays. And then we are going to take our steel head, prop it right up on there. And then mm. we are going to take our relish, lastly, give that a nice little stir. And we're going to just, I like to place a little bit on top. I just kind of run down, mm -hmm. run down around there. Maybe get a little bit over here on this side. And there you are. That is beautiful. And it smells so good. So much. Maybe take a nice clean rag, touch up the edges. And we have Michelle Hotchko with us now, our dietitian, and she has come to kind of let us know if we can make these a little healthier for us. Well, these recipes are great. Um, so the Dungeness crab stuffed mushrooms is actually a great recipe. There's not really any major modifications I'd recommend mm -hmm. other than if you wanted to cut back a little bit on the fat and calories, you could reduce the amount of cheese. Okay. Um, but otherwise, it's a wonderful recipe. Perfect. That's good to know. It's so yeah. delightful. All right. And let's talk about, how about the potatoes? So the mashed potatoes is where you could cut back on a lot of the calories, total fat, saturated mm -hmm. fat. So instead of using the whole half pound of cream cheese, you could either just use less cream cheese, right. maybe half of that amount, mm -hmm. um, a quarter of a pound or so, um, or you could use just a couple of tablespoons of butter in place of all that cream okay. cheese. Um, you could also, instead of using heavy cream, you could use um, either 1%, 2% right. milk. Um, any kind of milk is gonna, going to have less calories and fat right. than heavy cream. It won't be as creamy, yes. so it will be different, uh -huh. but it definitely won't have quite the calorie punch right. um, okay. as these delicious potatoes. I think with all of his wonderful the uh, cranberry relish, you know, that's going to just kind of drizzle over those mm -hmm. potatoes too, so cutting some of that cream out really yeah, yeah will, will help. Good. And as we speak about the cranberry relish, what about that? So. Um, a way to reduce a lot of the added sugar, instead of using dried cranberries, mm -hmm. which already have added sugar to them, mm -hmm. you can use whole fresh cranberries, which are available around the holiday season. Sure. And that they have almost no natural sugars. Um, and so then once you add in that, half, that cup of sugar, so you'll be adding in some of that, some sugar back into it, but you won't be having additional added sugar from the dried right. cranberries. Anything about the salmon? Um, the salmon is wonderful. You can prepare fresh salmon in a number of ways, but it's high in omega-3s um, and ha it's a good low-fat source of protein. Mm -hmm. So I'd say his recipe is amazing, but you can also do a variety yeah. of other recipes. Okay. Michelle, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right. We'll see you again. Okay. Thanks, thanks a lot. Taylor, I can't wait to taste the mushroom appetizer. I cannot either. Mmm. Mmm. That is excellent. Oh, it really is. Let's see how we did with the wine selection, okay? Mm. Mm. Nice mm. blending. The Christmas of the wine 
It goes so well together. And the balsamic oh, on top of that. Very good. To complement it's just Have you got your fork ready for a very nice salmon? blend. Certainly do. Okay. Me too. Let's and give her a try. Potato here. Yum, yum. Your salmon is cooked to perfection. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, the flavor mm. of that relish. The viewers have got to go and see you at the Yellow Church Cafe. Yes. I thank you so I much. I agree. Mm. We better have a little sip of that. We should probably we? see how mm -hmm. this goes together. Ooh, I like the way it. I really do too. Just kind of kicked that relish off. Oh my goodness! It did. Goodness, that nice palate cleanser and everyone you must works go well as well. And visit Taylor Cole at the Yellow Church Cafe, and uh, we will see you soon. Be happy and eat healthy. Valley Fresh Fair, underwritten in part by Garden Girl of Yakima, the charming gift and garden center located on historic North Front Street. Valley Fresh Fair is underwritten by Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital to better serve our community. Thanks also to the Yakima Valley Museum.